On today's video, I'm going to show you all how to move stories, tags, futures, epic from one project to another project. Um, by the end of this video, hopefully you all can learn how to do that. Welcome back to Aisha Scrum Platform. I'm very happy to have you on my, my platform. For my existing subscribers and my new subscribers, I welcome you all. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. All right, to do that, I'm going to go to all issues because currently I'm in my Aisha Scrum uh, project. I want to move all of this issue to Aisha Tech project. So the first thing I will do is to come to issues uh, and select issues. And then I go to, if at your job where you select issues and all the issues do not show up, you have to select on view all issues and filter. When you click on that, then you'll see this view that I currently have in front of me. So the next thing you're gonna go to is tools um, at work. That's where we have it. It's gonna be at tools. I know this one is very different from my own Jira. It's very different from my job Jira. So I know my old job, then I go to tools and you click on tools if that's the same thing you have. And then you will see this option to bulk change uh, all issues. For this project, I have 32 issues. Any amount of issues you have in your project, those numbers gonna count here. And mind you, before you could do this, you have to be uh, basically a Jira admin for that project, for you to be able to move from one project to another. If you're not Jira admin, there's no way this is going to show you this option. So that's the first thing first. Ensure you have the access right before you try to do the bulk change. And I click on bulk change, then it's going to load and show me all of those issues, right? So now that I have all these issues in front of me, I can click here and select all of the issues I want, or I can come and single-handedly select only the issue that I want to move. You can also just check those bars. Let's say I want to move this, I want to move that. I want to move that. I select all of those and leave the ones I do not want blank because I don't want any changes to those. Uh, but the, let's say in this case, I want to move all of it because I want to show you girl, how it's going to look if you're moving it from one project to another board. And I select all. So then I go to all the way at the bottom and hit next. So now I'm going to use this move issues, you know, uh, last time I showed you guys how to change from epic to epic. So now I'm going to show you how to move it. So you just hit select move issues and you hit next. So this is where everything's going to be at, right? So it's highlighted the current project that I have, which is Aisha Scrum. And currently in my project, I have issues in stories. I have issues um, in, it's highlighting all the issues. I have issues in tags and I have epic. So this is very important for you to, to do the steps, right? Let's say you want to now change it to, uh, in my own case, to the projects that you want to do. Then you can come here, click the drop down arrow and select the project you want. Like in my case, I want Aisha Tech project. That's number one, that's very important. I select the right project that I want. And in this project, Aisha Scrum with story, I also want to maintain story. I want all what was said that was given an issue type story in Aisha Scrum. I also want all that issue type to, to remain story in Aisha Tech that I'm moving it to. So just ensure if this changes, you know that then you might lose your already established story. Ensure that you have the right selected issue type before you do the move. That's very, very important. And in this case, I'm gonna move this to from Aisha Scrum and select the drop down arrow and move to Aisha Tech. You might have to do it for each one. If there's, depending on how many uh, issue types you have, you might have maybe uh, spike that might also show up or spike enablers and also defects, like if you have any bugs, you know. And I wanna maintain story. I also gonna move this from Aisha Scrum to Aisha Tech and maintain story. And the same thing, I want to maintain tax, and I have to change it, move to Aisha Tech, and do the same thing for everything else. Just move it to Aisha Tech. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is a perfect example I was saying, right? So in Aisha Scrum, this is the tax, right? You see automatically in all of the tax story, it just defaults made them story. 
but I don't want to, I want to change those so it can maintain the same issue type. And for me to do that, I'm just going to come here and change that and make it tax because I want it to match just like exactly what was in Aisha Scrum board. I want the exact same view in Aisha Tech board. So then I'm going to change this tax. I'll change that story to tax again. And ensure I come here also, I change from Aisha Chrome, I make it to Aisha Tech. And I change this, this story also that's highlighted to tax. And Aisha Scrum, I'm going to change this Aisha Scrum to Aisha Tech again. And you see, as soon as I make the change to Aisha Tech, it highlighted story, right? So no, I want to want this epic. So then I move it back to epic. So then I scroll all the way down and make it epic. Because if you don't ensure that it's the same thing that you're moving it from that project to the new project, you will basically lose most of your data and you might find yourself displaced and you do not want that, right? So just ensure that it's the right issue type is selected for each of those changes and go through each one of them before you hit next because you will I will hit for my epic to be lost. So after you make all those changes, then you double check, like I have Aisha Scrum, Aisha Tech. Aisha. So I made all those changes to that. And everything looks good so far, then I hit next. So now I have one last one uh, that's saying it's subtax, Aisha Tech. So automatically the subtax to should change, right? The table below lists all stuff that need to be moved to a new project. Please select the appropriate issue type for each of them. So right now for Aisha Scrum, I have a subtax, but in Aisha Tech, I also want to leave it a subtax. I don't want to change that. But if you want to change it, that's where you just click the drop down arrow. Or oh, it's telling me no match, but I think a subtax will always be a subtax. Anyways, then you hit next to verify. So now, this is another important step that you must do, right? So currently in the Aisha Tech uh, project, no, in the Aisha Scrum project, which is the one that I want to change, some of those issues that I've already have, these are the status, right? These are the current status in those projects. And now that we are moving it to a new board, I have to ensure that I also match the status. Because if I just have it as everything backlog, so all the ones that you already have as active, we basically just go to the product backlog. And then sometimes we do this move where you don't want to move all your stories into one project or company sometimes do this move based on if they're splitting a project where that's where you can select the ones you want or sort of sort. Um, just ensure that you also follow through each of these steps. If not, you're going to find yourself starting all over again, bubble work, you know? And in this case, I'm going to maintain the same status. Stories that's already been closed going to remain closed. Story that's already in progress also will be in progress. So I'm just going to click the drop down arrow and put the one in testing, leave it in testing. The one in to do, leave those in to do. The one in done category, leave those in done. And the one in progress, keep it in progress. So I want to maintain that, you know. So hit next. So then it's now asking for the story points field. I think some of them too have story points. So your destination, your destination story use issues may have different field settings than your source project. Update the value for the field in this issue or select written to keep the field current value, right? So this is a very good point. So if I want the same current value, I just have to select written, right? Component or version field data is permanent lost. So this is very important. So basically, if you already um, have a fixed version attached to those stories that you're moving from the old project to the new project, Jira saying that we're already going to lose those uh, fixed versions. So you may have to read and create a new fixed version to identify the stories. And if you have already components labeled to those stories too, you also permanently lose that. So that's something that you should know too and let your team know or anyone that asks you to do this movement, right? If you move issue between project, order or compatibility will appear empty even if you choose to retain their value. That's also very important. So some value that might be different from the last project workflow to now this new project workflow 
some of them too you might lose and those fields will be empty. So Jira is just giving us warning. So for example, it's saying the field name, uh, value, measure of story points. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to add story points in that, but I'll just come to this area. I just hit retain because I don't want to add or make any changes because I want the same old estimated in those stories, even the ones that have been closed in the past and maintain that for this one also. So then you come here and select the checkbox for retain, right? So I, I always do retain and then I hit next. So now it is telling me for the sub tax, right? So we have current status for to do. We also have current status for done for the current project. And now for the new project, you're seeing that it's going to be the target status. And I'm also going to change that to reflect, to reflect the, the this already status that's been done. So stuff that's already been done will be done um, in this case. And Jira will also give you a warning too that you can go in detail and also read all of that. And I hit next. So it's now saying that your destination subtax issue may have different field settings than your source project. So it's telling me that my old uh, subtax settings might be different from the new project I'm about to move this, right? Update the value for the field in this issue or select retain, going back to the same thing too, um, to keep the field current value. So I either have to select retain or keep this field current value. So like I already did that in the past. So, um, and the same thing is telling me for version and components, I will lose that. So if I want email updates, we'll select that, but I don't want that in this case, I hit next. So now it's showing me for tax. I want to maintain the same status. Basically, you've been it for each of those issue type. If you notice, I've been doing it for the, those different issue types, you know. And I hit next because it's repeating itself. Uh, I don't want no email updates. And I hit next. So you're not doing it for the epic. Uh, the epic was in testing. And we have one here in to do. And I have uh, the current status as in progress. And I hit next. So now it's asking me for the field the color for the epic, the color for the epic name, the color for the status and the story points, and I have retained. My goal is to maintain the old status I had from that old project going to the new project. So I'm just going to select retain. So all of that's going to be the same. I select retain. Then we hit next. So now Jira is giving me summary, like, okay, these are the changes you're going to be doing from Aisha Tech. It is all going to be in Aisha Tech, uh, story, subtax, epic. I'm going to maintain the same thing. So this is the Aisha Tech for the story, the original status. Now I'm going to be the targeted status. I'm maintaining the same. I didn't change anything. And for the subtax, it's going to be the same on the Aisha Tech, uh, maintain the same status. For, Aisha, for the stack, tax also is going to be the same and the epic is going to be the same. So you're just giving one time, one more review before we do it. So now I'm going to hit confirm because I'm happy with everything. But if you are not happy with stuff or you make any mistake, you can just go back and make those changes before you do the bulk migration, right? This is like 32 issue. And if you have a lot more issue, this might take even longer, right? So now that I've already uh, did 100% bulk operation complete, then I hit done. So ta-da! So basically, I've moved uh moved my issue. So now this is empty. So I've moved all the projects that I had uh, from Aisha Scrum. Now I've moved everything to Aisha Tech. So now everything in this backlog is gonna be empty. I have nothing because why I moved everything to this project. So let me now show you where you're gonna see that. Um, uh, I come to Aisha Tech. If I come to Aisha Tech, it's going to create all the stories. So now you see, when I come to the backlog, now I have all those other stories right here. And this is a Kanban board, by the way. It moved it from uh, Scrum board to now Kanban board. So now these are all the issues. 
And if you even want to verify further, you can just come to issue, all issue. And you're going to see all the, all the stories, all of the list of the stories created. So these are now all my stories on this board. Everything just got moved here. Mental, moving, unassigned. These are all the stories. It tells you that uh, it got moved on October 18, October 18, which is the day that I, I just did the move, right? So this was the day that uh, updated, updated. So it moved all the story on here. So now I have all the stories. So that's how you move the story from one place to another. And just to ensure when you do that, you will verify it. If you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. You can also look at our website at www.aishascrumtech.com. We help new Scrum Masters, practicing Scrum Masters, Scrum Masters that are looking for jobs, people that are going through different challenges at work, and also help you basically navigate your role as a Scrum Master, Product Owner, Project Manager, Business Analyst. Uh, we cover all of this in, our, in Aisha Tech, actually. We have a whole huge team that's here to support you all. If you need assistance, do not hesitate to email us at admin at aishascrumtech.com. Thank you for watching this video and see you all again in our next video.